We're looking at homework from section 6.3. This is question number 9. In a survey of 3,902 adults, 714 oppose allowing transgender students to use the bathrooms of the opposite biological sex. Construct a 99% confidence interval for the population proportion. Interpret the results. So we need to find our point estimates here. The point estimates are p hat and q hat. So the formula for p hat is x over n. The n value will be the total number of adults in the survey, and the x value will be the number having this opinion. So in this case, this is 714 over 3902, which when we divide, we get 0 0.182983 rounded to three decimal places, is 0.183. Now we can find the value of q hat by doing 1 minus p hat. So that's 1 minus 0.183, which is 0.817. That's our value of q hat. We'll need that value to construct the margin of error, which is important in finding the confidence interval. So the margin of error has a formula, and that formula has a z-score inside. So we need our level of confidence. The 99% level of confidence yields a z-score value of 2.575. The formula for the error is error equals zc times the square root of p hat q hat over n. So we'll insert the values that we've found. zc is 2.575, p hat is 0.183, q hat is 0 0.817, and n was 3902. When we do those calculations on our calculator, we end up with 0.015939 rounded to three decimal places is 0 0.016. Once we have the margin of error, we're going to subtract that from p hat and add that to p hat. So p hat minus the error is 0.183 minus 0 0.016 and then p hat plus the error 0 0.183 plus 0 0.016 which gives us 0 0.167 to 0.199. That's our 99% confidence interval. Then we need to interpret the results. So remember, when we find a confidence interval, the level of confidence tells us how certain we are that the value of the population proportion falls between the bounds of our interval. So the correct choice here is answer B. With 99% confidence, it can be said that the population proportion of adults who oppose allowing transgender students to use the bathrooms of the opposite biological sex is between the endpoints of the given confidence interval. And that's your answer.